If you have constantly tight hips, or you have trouble activating your glutes at the gym or in bed, one of the things that you may have found is that you have really tight, uh, you have a really tight TFL. Um, you have two, so you would have tight TFLs most likely, sometimes just one versus the other. In any case, um, if, uh, if you've been looking for ways to stretch out the TFL, uh, you may have found a lot of different things on the internet that just don't quite seem to get it. And so today what I want to show you is a TFL stretch that actually stretches your TFL um, and actually makes things feel better so that your hip muscles uh, loosen up, feel a little bit better, and you can start activating your glutes a little bit better. So first things first is the TFL is basically this muscle that starts right at, uh, basically right where the fifth pocket is on your jeans. Um, and basically it's right in on your pelvic bone, comes down and it blends in with the IT band and then comes straight down into the knee. It actually helps flex and abduct the, uh, the hip. So basically it helps you do this. Um, and it also, <clears throat> also help you um, do a little bit of medial rotation. So what it can do is it can, it can really twist your lower leg out and twist your upper leg in, which gives you that, that super sexy uh, medially rotated femur and laterally rotated foot that everyone has been talking about this summer. If you've looked online for different TFL stretches, you've probably found a number of different ways of trying to get at the TFL and the IT band. And unfortunately, a lot of them leave a lot of room for user error. So there's ways for you to compensate around it. There's ways for your lower back to tilt. What we're gonna do to ensure that we get this uh, nasty little bastard that is the TFL, is we're gonna get a little pad here and we're gonna get next to a bench or a couch or some sort of surface that you can use to help uh, balance yourself. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get set up into a position where you're on one foot and one knee just below you on the pad. Um, you know, I do recommend you use a cushion under your knee. Um, some of you who are more used to pleading and begging may not need it. Uh, if you're used to doing other things on your knees, keep it to yourself. But basically the rest of us are gonna need a cushion under the kneecap so it doesn't hurt so much. And um, I'm going to put, for the right TFL, we're going to put the right knee down on the cushion. We're going to get the left foot flat. And uh, a lot of stretches, a lot of TFL stretches online will tell you from this point, they want you to just shift the hips forward, kind of like an overeager uh, teenager. If you just do a standard hip flexor stretch and then throw in a twist, what happens is your, uh, your TFL is a very, very sneaky bastard. And well, basically, as you come out, it's gonna force your hip into abduction, right? Which is what it likes to do. So, really exaggerate it, it's like this. It kind of pushes your hips over to the side just enough so that instead of stretching the TFL, you end up stretching just the iliopsoas complex. What we're gonna do is actually, instead of start shifting forward, where we would end up kind of just stretching out the hip flexors, um, what we wanna do instead is, uh, shift back to bring this other foot right in line with the other knee so that now we've kind of trapped this bastard of a TFL in uh, into a little bit of a stretch, right? So remember I said TFL abducts the hip. Well now we've got the bastard strap, uh, trapped into adduction and some of you might already feel a little bit of stretch here. If that's the case, congratulations. You should go talk to your HR department about hazard pay because you've been sitting way too much. Now, for the rest of us, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure that we keep this kind of shifted over so that we have the hip in adduction, right? Basically the femur coming towards the midline. And then we're gonna shift, slowly shift our hips forward like this. So now we're taking the TFL into extension, right? We're taking the hip joint into extension, which stretches out the uh, TFL should feel it right there in that uh, in that fifth pocket area on your jeans. You can see it again. We want to bring that foot over so that the hip is in adduction and then you're just going to come forward just like that. I recommend you hold this for at least 30 seconds. I like to hold my stretches for about a minute when I'm really trying to help develop more flexibility. Sometimes when I'm feeling really mean, really masochistic and then sadistic to 
this little bastard. I'll hold it for longer than that, maybe through a whole commercial break. Be sure to subscribe for other helpful hints and tips for keeping your body feeling good. And remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't. So what does good posture look like? Well, I've got my beautiful assistant Shane here with me today from Legacy Athletics. And what we're going to be doing is looking 